Welcome back trainers. I'm out here, beautiful Alaska in April and it is way too cold. <laughs> it shouldn't be this cold. 34 degrees. No, I've been living here my whole life but I still do not like the cold. Anyways, in this video we're going to be talking about how, you know, everybody wants to be a YouTuber. Everybody wants to make a living off of YouTube. It is nice, but there's a few things that you should be warned about. We're going to go ahead and talk about it. Not really warned, but I'm going to show you, dive into the life of the taxes end of a YouTuber. Now, I'm not going to be pointing out any numbers that I'm making, like how much I'm making. I will point out like how much I'm spending on some things as far as um, write-offs and stuff like that, but I'm not going to be pointing out how much I actually made because that's just not what you do on YouTube. Anyways, out here with Athena. I got to go take her to go get a, some treats and a toy or something because she was just sitting around all day, just sitting there while I'm doing my taxes. Oh no, poor doggy just sitting there. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's uh, see what we have going on. If you do enjoy this kind of uh, interesting, different style of content, give it a thumbs up. I'm squinting because... You know, the sun in Alaska is brighter than a lot of places. I'm, that, that sounds really weird, right? You're like, what do you mean? Sun is the sun, no matter where you're at. All right. Yeah, that's true. But it's, it's it, you got this snow, which is like reflecting off it and making it even brighter. All right. Enough of this rambling. Let's get into this. All right. So this is the laptop that I use to exclusively do my taxes. It is a dinky HP uh, laptop. I mean, let's take a look here. A laptop you've never seen one of these before huh so simple so I uh, use it for only taxes because everything's saved and it's just better that way uh, I don't even have a laptop otherwise because I do all of my work on the thing that I'm recording with my phone I've been making my living only using phones since 2016 I don't know if there's anybody out there who's ever done that now as far as the Write-offs, that's the big thing. And now this is going to be more about like my experience, I guess. I could have showed you when all these were out, but there is a lot of receipts bundled up in here. I just stuffed them in here. So when you are a YouTuber, when you receive your payments, you do not get any taxes deducted at all. Uh, but it's not like, oh, you don't just tax free money. No, if you don't file your taxes, you're going to have some trouble. So you better do that. Anyways, all this stuff is just from expenses. So we have business meetings, <laughs> eating out, uh, just a few of those, but mostly are going to be just random things that I use to help run my channel. I didn't organize them, I just kind of threw them in here, right? So it doesn't really matter as long as they're in the bag. It was a crazy mess before this. Uh, other random expenses, and then we have like Google Play and car expenses. And okay, so. Let's talk about this. If you're trying to actually make a livable wage off of a YouTube channel or multiple channels, uh, you know, it's kind of difficult. It really depends uh, nowadays on what kind of a genre you're trying to get into. For Pokemon Go, if you're getting lucky or putting in the work, the algorithm picks you up, you could start getting momentum and then you're good to go. But who knows how long that's going to keep up and how you're going to be able to rely on that. Not to mention, there's no benefits here on YouTube. There's no health insurance. There's no dental. There's none of that. So you got to save on top of that. Or if you have health insurance, I personally don't because it's ridiculously expensive. And I got expenses that I need to pay. Uh, if you think I'm making a lot of money here, I'm really not. See, the thing nice about YouTube though, which gives me the freedom to do whatever I want, work whenever I want. You have to have a good work ethic, but at the same time, you know, you, you can you just, you can do whatever you want. You, you, you're your, your own boss. There are rules and guidelines of YouTube, so technically Google and YouTube are your boss, right? Uh, they're also paying you, it's Google though. But that's it, you know? You, you got the freedom to do whatever you want, but it's not all fun and games because it's a grind and for the freedom, I'm sacrificing continuously grinding out videos and continuously editing and looking at my phone. Uh, I think I screwed up my eyes during the two days where we had the 100 battles, continuously looking at my phone, looking at my phone, editing. Holy crap, I slept more 
or I mean I was awake longer I didn't even get much sleep the next couple of days my eyes like everything was like blurry it was ridiculous now I guess that's not really like that's my own problem I should have stepped away but it's this constant grind and editing that I've had to sacrifice hanging out with friends going places which I would this is a, I'm, I'm living a dream this is amazing making content from, for Pokemon and I got a job <laughs> It's just like unbelievable. I said this before, but if I can go back in the past and tell myself this, it would just be like constantly looking at the watch, waiting for this day to happen, waiting for this moment, preparing for it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, is it if you if you're getting a lot of views and you can comfortably upload one video a day, then that's going to be pretty good. So I did do the two videos. I have been kind of slowing down. Sometimes I upload three, sometimes I upload two. It really depends upon the video's performance of the first the first one of the day. Also, your channel's performance kind of coincides with how you feel for the day, how you feel for the week, how you just feel in general. If your channel's doing great, you're feeling amazing. If your channel's doing bad, you're not feeling too good. And that's just going alongside with you know, uh, you know, I'm gonna be able to make rent. Am I gonna be able to make the quota for this month? If you're somebody who's just extremely big, though, this is just saying, you know, some big channels, you don't need to worry about that. That's not that's not a thing you need to worry about. And I see a lot of them. This is not Pokemon Go content creators. This is like bigger than that. Complaining and whining. The views are down. The downfall of this person. You know, they make a documentary about them, and I like I go look at their channel. And the videos are still getting like. 120,000, maybe a half million views. Maybe they don't upload as much, but that is still money. Okay. Uh, they can make all the documentaries about the downfall of whoever, but these people, most of them are still doing perfectly fine. Uh, I don't understand where all that's coming from. I mean, you see numbers on my channel, that's a livable wage. I'm, I'm livable on that. Granted, I'm not, yeah, you know, I gotta cut corners and, you know, this and that. Plus, you know, rent is expensive and. You know, food ain't cheap here in Alaska. It's not cheap anywhere else. I got to cut down on my gas. I got to cut down on everything I'm doing because as, if I'm not making that money, I can't put it back in. And that's where the tax income or the uh, write-offs come in. Spend it. You got to make sure you understand how much taxes are going to be uh, required from you come tax time so you can calculate what you need to spend and this is kind of an art. I mean, after so long of doing this, you start to just mentally know how much you need to spend. And that's pretty much it. If you haven't spent enough come the end of the year, what you do is uh, <laughs> you go to the star, you start stocking up on stuff that you need for your channel. If you need a new computer, you buy that. If you need some more Google Play for Pokemon Go, you buy that. If you need whatever equipment, you go for that. If you need to take classes for speech or for video editing, you do that. I'd rather spend all of this tax write-off on all these different things and then have all these different write-offs because, you know, just going to help you out at the end of the day. Anyways, thought I'd just break that down for you guys. Hope you uh, found that insightful. Uh, it's not all what it's cracked out to be, uh, and it's definitely a grind which you're going to have to sacrifice hanging out with friends, hanging out with family. Forget it, partying and drinking and stuff. That... You could do it, I guess, but I personally feel like what happens for me is my whole like equilibrium just gets all screwed up if I drink and I just feel all off balance and it's not going to be good for me. I do smoke though, uh, not cigarettes, <laughs> so I, I can still function like that, but that's another story. Anyway, yeah, just thought I'd give you that little bit of tidbit there. So if you're like trying to become a youtuber you got to really have views rolling in for you unless you don't have to pay rent you don't have insurance you don't have uh phone bills you don't have a whole food you know people relying on you like you, like a dog or your son or your kids or whatever uh if you're just a single person who's living with a roommate or your parents or whatever then you know youtube away all right <laughs> start stacking up that money and save it but otherwise it's gonna be pretty hard to get into and just make a livable wage all right, and before we go, a little bit of Pokemon Go. We got a shiny Rock Ruff. It took me 55 raids to get this, so that's not bad at all. If you did enjoy this video, folks, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, and I'll have some Pokemon Go content for you first thing tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and take care.